In my current circumstance, I am homeschooling my seven and nine-year-old boys. The opportunity to use video games for school was an exciting proposition for them. I created a Facebook page so, so that they could play the Monster Galaxy game. They knew that the subject they would be learning was math, and of course, this was much more palatable for my nine-year-old to swallow. The topic for discussion was estimation. You can ask any teacher, and they will tell you one of two things, or both, about estimating. Kids don't get it, and they are not good at it. Anyway, I find it very interesting that my boys can recognize the correct punch to use in a game that will cause the most destruction, and or they have to decide which monster to use in the fight. As Aldrich would say, this is a math simulation on estimation. It is and was enjoyable for the boys to learn, and it challenged them to learn math in a unique way. The unique advantage to video games is the immediate correction and response to the learner's actions and choices. This also led the boys to ask more questions, and they realized that they needed my collaboration and participation, which led to even more opportunities to learn. According to Aldrich, as long as the boys had ownership, then they are likely to remember content longer and use it more. So which one of your guys are you going to pick then to fight a level 3 or the 70? Which one of those powers are you going to use? I would take Zodiac. And why is that? Because it's more effective. More effective because it's going to create more damage? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's an amazing hit. Oh. Uh oh. He killed me. Yeah, that hurts. So do you think maybe next time you would have picked uh, Huey first over yeah. Chinchilla? Yeah. Because sometimes we like to go with our gut, our gut instinct, but we should really go with the math, with the numbers. Okay. Who are you going to pick? This one because it's more effective. Okay. And how many points does he have? 86? Yep. So you should probably win, right? 86 yeah. versus 52? I'm going to use the Zodiac attack. Because yeah. it's more damage, more accuracy, and more critical. Okay. So that's what we're going to pick up. Then you want to go to which attack is the best for him? 18% or 15 Why would that be bad if he's got 17 and you got 16? Because you would have one more life. You would left. have one more chance to hit you. Yeah, and then I would die. So All right, so you probably be... want to go to the catapult again. What percent of the time is he going to miss? Um, everyone? Oh, like What's 100 oh. minus 92? Eight. Eight. Okay, so 8% eight. Eight of the time he's going to miss. So he's more accurate with the headbutt. So it, it helps to do some estimation when you're doing math, right? Mm -hmm. So this game is helping you to learn your math.